question is about the uh, Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming. This question is on SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act. In regards to the internet, the question of government controlling and censoring the content of or taxing the internet is becoming a major problem, a major concern. Many Americans rely on the internet to share, share information and ideas. Last October, House, um, House Bill 3261, the Stop Online Piracy Act, was introduced in the U.S. House. Proponents of the bill say that the legislation is needed in order to protect intellectual property. Opponents, however, fear that this is the beginning of government inter interference and control over the internet. Please explain your position regarding this issue. General feel, general, my general feeling is that we have a free market and the free market should work. But like any freedom, there has to be regulation. Do not not unlimited in any right, even right that we have within our Constitution. They're not unlimited rights. There is and can be limitations on that. You know, freedom of speech. There are things you can't say. You can't crawl, cry about fire in a crowd of people. And there are limitations to all freedom. They're not absolute rights. They are rights that have responsibilities that come with them. And if you abuse those rights, piracy, if you abuse those rights, then you have a consequence of abusing that right. I can't say that, with respect to that bill, that I, I'm familiar enough with it that I can say that I have an opinion one way or another on it. But I, I, I would make the case that I have in the past said that there are limits to, what, to the freedom on the internet. The internet is a powerful source for good, and as we all know, it has been a powerful source for bad in this country. And so the idea that we should just hands off, and it's a moral free zone, it's a regulation free zone, and that people should be able to do whatever they want, I don't know of any other zone in America where that's the case. Then why should the internet be different than everything else? So I would say that responsible, well-vetted, discussed regulation, if there is abuse taking someone's private property, if there is abuse as there is in pornography and a lot of other areas where we are destroying the moral fabric of our country, to say, well, it's just tough, let people do whatever they want. When that 12 year old points out, let them do whatever they want. There are limitations that have to be put in place because your free speech rights can be incredibly harmful to someone else. Your desire to go and grab something that doesn't belong to you can be very harmful to somebody else. And so, while not counting specifically on the bill, the idea that we're looking at that and saying, well, you can't regulate here. I reject that. Absolutely reject that. The question is how you do it. And do it in a way that makes sure that it is not imposing upon freedoms and is respecting other people's rights. Because, of course, your rights may infringe on my rights. And in the case of piracy, your right to be able to engage in certain activities on the internet and do things may engage, may violate my right to be able to practice economic, practice commerce. So those are the issues that have to be balanced, and, and I, I hope we don't look at it as an either-or proposition. Very few things are that crystal clear, particularly in the areas of commerce, where there rights, where there rights on many cases, like contract rights on both sides that have to be attended.